I'm sitting now with Senator Kirsten Gillibrand, who just addressed the South Carolina Democratic Convention. Senator, thank you for stopping by and talking. Uh, you were very, very strong on how you wanted to deal with various issues from the criminal justice system to climate change across the board. How do you deal with the president's announcement about he's sending out ICE and he's going after a lot of the uh, illegal immigrants, as he would say, uh, in this country? How do you react to this announcement and, and what do you think ought to be done? It's just one of the many instances of President Trump's failure to lead. Uh, he is literally tearing apart families still at the border. Uh, seven children have died in his custody. Uh, the fact that 50 kids don't have a way yet to reunite with their parents uh, is outrageous. And the story that broke today about hundreds of children in a facility right. that doesn't have proper food, doesn't have water, doesn't have uh, proper cleaning, they can't take baths, they can't bathe, uh, dirty clothes, sick children. I mean, it's inhumane and it's unexpected acceptable and it's harming the integrity of our nation and who we are as a country. Now, as we look at this South Carolina Democratic Convention, you emphasize a lot about racial equality. You said yes. uh, that you would sign H.R. 40. I think I said 430 in the last segment, so it gave us the wrong numbers. But H.R. 40 is what we've uh, a lot of us have been advocating in terms of reparations. But you also said that we need to have a direct and clear focus on what is going on in the race gap economically, Absolutely. criminal justice across the board. Yeah, so we have uh, not only a wealth gap between black Americans and white Americans, we have income inequality growing that's disproportionately harming people of color. We also have institutional and systemic racism across the board, which affects our health care system, our education system, our economy, and our criminal justice system. So what I laid out today was five or six of my ideas about how to address it address maternal mortality, for example, the fact that black women are four times more likely to die in childbirth than white women because of institutional racism in our country is an, is an outrage. Uh, addressing the issue of, of access to capital for black entrepreneurs, elim eliminate the barriers to their success, making sure we could actually use my SBA as president. I will use my SBA, Small Business Administration, to funnel um, not only uh, grants and loans, but also technical support for black-owned businesses, women-owned business, minority owned businesses. Use it to do that. Uh, focus on things like access to banking. 30% uh, of Americans are unbanked or underbanked. And that disproportionately harms community of co communities of color and black Americans. So use our postal banking system. Actually, use post offices. There's 30,000 in the country. They're located in inner cities, in rural areas, places where banks won't go. And they used to provide checking and savings and even simple banking like access to loans and mortgage. All right. Thank you so much much for stopping by Senator Well, Kirsten thank you, Brown. Reverend. It's All right. an honor. Thank you. Thank you. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.